Well, welcome to our local non league, and of course, joining us as usual after the game. Of course, uh, Gavin, and Gavin probably uh, not the result we wanted. Well, obviously not. I mean, you know, I, I got I got so many mixed emotions at the moment. Um, and I'm not someone that loses my head on, on things. That's for sure. Just had a chat with the boys in there, and we have had a chat. Um, you know, I could come at it so many different ways. Um, you know, there was a point where I, I sat there and thought, how are we losing this football match, um, if I'm honest? Um, that was particularly down to the first half performance where we've been pretty dominant. We've created chances and we haven't taken them. And, that, and that's something I'll come on to in a minute, Dave. Um, and then they've had a spell, a half decent spell in the second half where they've changed a little bit. Um, and, and let's get it right. We've made awful mistakes for goals. Um, you know, they're howlers pretty much. Um, and um, that is the result. That's that's what it is. So if you're not going to be, it's the old adage, if you're not good in both boxes, and I think we were not good in their box today when we, we, when we were presented and created some, some very good chances in the first half. And then when their chances come, you're poor about keeping it out of the back of your net. Um, it's, uh, it will always make for a difficult day at the office. It doesn't matter who you're playing. And when you're playing the better sides in the league, which they are, um, then uh, you, you, you have to um, you have to put them to bed and you have to take those chances and you have to be solid in, in the box. Now, listen, where I'm going to come at it from now is, is, well, it's exactly what we have been doing, taking our chances mm. and keeping nils at the other end. So it's very, very unlike us. Um, I, I look at I, I look at Car Shelton today and I think you know I hold my hat off to them because they're a good side, but I'm thoroughly thoroughly disappointed to have lost that game because really and truthfully it could have and maybe should have been a lot different in respect of the scoreline certainly at half time. But they have taken their chances, they've kept us to a nil and that's probably down to us in, in some respects because we have created chances. And we just have to move on. I think those days come around a couple of times a season and you just have to say that's how it is. You don't want them to be in, 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 in the games like this today. Um, but um, do, do, I, do I fear anyone? No, no. <coughs> um, I just think we've, we've contributed to our own downfall. Mm. Simple. Because yeah, it's just a strange game. Because I mean, even, even in the first half, you know, we looked at, in, in the game. So, you know, as you said, we were playing really well in the first half, and then second half, sort of five, ten minutes into the first half, the mistakes made, and, and before then, we just it, we were sitting up there saying that we, we could be playing all day long. And we don't think we'd score. Yeah, I think um, I think we, we spoke at half time. We created decent chances. Um, we hadn't pulled the trigger. It was almost looking like we were, like we were trying to score the perfect goal. And um, you know, I've told them in there. I, 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 you know, I'm not going to shy away from it. Think, let's get the FA Cup out of the way. Put that to one side. We're two points in nine. We're two points from nine in the league, um, and that's not going to be good enough to to be where we want to be at the end of the season. So they have to understand. I I, I looked at it today and I said to them at half time, if you keep the effort going, um, and no matter what the result is today, I'll, I won't come for you. Um, and I can't fault the effort. I can't fault the effort, I just don't think the quality was there. So I'm not going to be too hard on them at all. Um, I think it's one of those days where you look back and you think, at half time, how are we not winning this two or three? Um, by the end of the game, you're scratching your head because you've made mistakes at the other end. It comes around every so often. You don't become a bad team overnight in that respect. However, however, they've certainly got to reflect, and we have to reflect as a group, includes me and the management boys, to see exactly where that's gone wrong. I don't think it would take a genius to, to work that out, to be mm. honest. And I mean, we, we were sent upstairs, we thought like the full man in the match, I know Carl had a great game for us at the back, we felt we didn't think, it, we was just saying up there that it was 3-0 and we didn't really think Carl and James did too much wrong, and, and yet we lost 3-0. It, yeah. It's a weird one, Dave, it's, mm. it's just a weird one. I mean, you know, obviously Reese. look, let's get it out there, Reese is going to be very, very disappointed with probably all three of the goals. Let, let's get it right. Mm. Um, certainly two of them. And, um, you know, he, he we need to get around him because there's been times when he's made great great saves, crucial saves, and he's kept us in game. So, so look, you know, mm. that happens. That's a goalkeeper's lot, and it, and it happens sometimes. So we have to get around him, and we have to accept that, um, you know, it's just not been a great day at the office um, by his standards and, and, and by others. So, yeah, you're right. We, we didn't do a lot wrong. It's It was like bang, 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 and, you, and you're looking, you're thinking, OK, Right, okay, I can't legislate for some mm. of what's happened today. Um, and if we were sitting in now and I'd picked a side that hadn't been in the football match, hadn't created chances, and I'd got all of it wrong, I'd be sitting here and saying to you, Dave, I'm what you need to look at, okay? But we had, 
But I accept you have, you have days like that when your quality is just not quite there, and um, you know when you make mistakes, you get punished. Mm. And with the sort of how was own game coming up on the on, on the uh, in the future or very near future? I mean, what was you the feelings on that one getting drawn against Hull's own because? I know quite well from the Southern League and sitting second in their league and and, and they're getting great guns at the minute. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I, I didn't think a lot of it to be honest with you. I just thought, okay, that's what we've got. We'll do our own work. We'll we'll work on it. I, I don't fear anybody. I, I certainly won't fear them. You know, whether the result goes our way or not, it, it's pointless me going there and thinking, God, you know, how are we going to do this? We, we're a good side and we're, we've been unbeaten up until today. So at the end of the day, we'll go up there in good spirits. We'll go up there having done our homework, and we'll go up there to win the game. You know, if they're better than us on the day, they're better than us, and we'll mm. we'll, we'll, we'll move on. Mm. Well, today, I mean, I mean, their number five, Lexus. I mean, I thought he was outstanding today. Yeah, no, they're a good side. Mm. Good side, um, Josh. You know, you, you have to you can't you can't get away from that. We haven't we haven't lost to a poor side today. We lost to a very good side, and you know, when, it will now go back to you know, good players. And as you say, I thought he was outstanding today, and pro probably their man of the match. Um, but when you go back to it and you say, well, we've actually opened up that good side mm. on, on, lo on lots of occasions. So, so listen, you know, it's not all doom and gloom for me. It's a very, very easy for me to analyse how we've lost that game. Mm. It doesn't take a genius. If you're going to make mistakes and, 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 and ship goals like you did and not put them in at the other end, it's a recipe for losing football matches. And that is as simple as mm. it. So from your point of view, I mean, how, does, how do you go into the sort of the next training session? Because everything's been going... You know, it's hunky dory, moving along the list, going on, and then all of a sudden we've hit our sort of first hurdle, shall we say? And so, how is it just no just as normal? No different because um, you know it's uh, you know we, the boys have proven that they can put a run of results on, they can they can beat sides, you know, and, and we've beaten some good sides this season. Um, but you know, obviously, I'll we, we will just focus on how's home. That's what we'll do. We just focus on that and we move on, and we'll, we'll pick a side that that uh, that we think are worthy of. Um, trying to win infield town that football match you know whether it's the side we started with today yeah. um i don't know no, nobody's undroppable you know i've, I've got no favorites mm. trust me on that yeah. um people need to play and they need to play well i've got people sitting on this bench that have been sitting on that bench for, for a number of weeks and um you know we've got just cause to, to to have a little knock on my door and say what's going on because mm. that wasn't good enough today and in, in a lot of respects it wasn't we well, take away today's today's result. I mean, as a manager, are you still looking for for players? And, and does a manager in your position still look for players like just on a constant basis? Even if you were sort of like a hundred percent, three points every game, you, do, you know, do you still carry on looking for players that might improve the squad? Uh, absolutely. I mean, listen, the, the big one is obviously replacing Cassie, and we've spoken about this week after week. You know, uh, I I can't have worked harder to try and do that. Okay. Um, the boys know that, you know, my management team know how hard I'm working. Sometimes it just doesn't happen. Mm. It just does, it isn't for you. Like, I'm not bringing in, loads of people say, oh, he's available. And I think, well, okay, he's my, does he suit what we do? Is he, is he a good character for me? And I won't just bring in anyone. Um, those boys have been doing really well. We've been scoring lots of goals. I haven't been too worried, but I have been looking and I have been working very, very hard to do it. It just hasn't happened. Now, it, it, uh, it, it should focus them. My focus has never gone, um, and I'm. I think we're two or three players short. That's what I think we yeah. are. Uh, and when you build a side from scratch, you, you generally look at it after ten games, and you think about where you are. That's generally the benchmark. And um, you know, after ten games, we're, we're all right. But I think we're three players short in what we are, um, and that will be certainly a centre forward. Um, but we are looking to um, to try and strengthen some some other areas. That's for sure. Well, listen, mate. Unlucky today. We know it's a little bit of a downer for you, but uh, I know, I know you. You know, you'll, you'll, be, you'll, you'll get your head up. And... I know why. I know why we've lost the game, yeah. and uh, you know, we, you, you can't get away from that, Dave. It's um, if you're going to make mistakes, you, you know, you got you got a chance of losing football matches, and that's where we are tonight. And, and with those mistakes, as was the last question, it's not something you can even train for, is it? No. Do you know what I mean? It's just. No. No, on, it happens. It? Yeah. And it will happen. It yeah. will happen two or three times a season. Mm. Okay, it will happen. Mm. Um, it's football, and people sometimes don't get it right in respect of uh, you know what they do on the pitch. Um, you have to accept that, and I accept it. Uh, they'll look at it as a as a fantastic result for them. I think uh, three 0 is you know is, I think if Pete came here and won one 0 I think you'd have taken that today, of course. Mm. Um, but three 0 probably flatters them a little bit. Mm. Thanks, Gavin. We wish you all the best next week.